excuse. I'm about to get my workout on. I've got my smoothie right here. It's got banana, pear, garana, ashwagandha. What else? Ginger. Um, sea moss gel. And I have my noni juice. My Tahitian noni juice. It is amazing. I would also strongly, strongly recommend this. Um, it's good for everything. Look it up, noni juice. So I share what I want to, right? And I, I don't share what I don't want to. I grew up in a very, um, you know, my father was an imam. Although I was raised by my mother and I would primarily see him during the summertime, my father was an imam. So that means that um, part of my childhood was sitting in the mosque for hours and hours and listening to the word. And um, sometimes on the weekend, I might stay, I might sleep in and I might re really not sleep in. I'm usually up relatively early, but I might be praying for like half the day. I might be praying from like 9.30 to like 1 p.m. Um, and why, you know, why am I in bed praying? Well, according to my faith, in Hadith, it says that the Prophet, peace be upon him, basically had to negotiate with our Creator. Originally, it was supposed to be 500 prayers a day, and then it went down to 50 prayers a day, and then it went down to five prayers a day. And why is this? Because there's nothing more important than prayer. There's nothing more important than glorifying the Most High, than um, honoring the Creator, than being grateful to the Creator for your life. There's nothing that takes more precedence than that. So, yes, I, I enjoy fitness. Yes, there's a lot of things that I enjoy, but according to my faith, there's nothing that's more important than prayer. And so that takes priority for me, my prayer. Um, I feel guilty if I grab my phone in the morning and you know respond to a text or um, something on IG before I've glorified my creator, um, the first words that come out of my mouth are gratitude for waking me up in the morning. It's almost like a slap in the face to my creator if I'm putting anything before that. I wanted to share before I got my workout in about this idea of um, the fact that my faith doesn't mean an, intercess an intercessor. I know that some Catholics or some Christians believe that you have to go to a priest and confess and um, that there's some sort of like intervention for your sins. But for me, I go directly to the source, which is why I consider myself even more spiritual than I am religious, because to me, religion is more about the rituals. It's about the Uma, the community. Um, I'm not really a part of any religious community. I pray on my own. I go directly to the source. I ask my creator for the things that I need and I'm granted those things. And um, I want to say this because I know that with some faiths, specifically in Islam, there has been a lot of, sometimes it seems as if um, people are put off by the idea that um, there's so, there's some, some, somewhat of a um, sexist undertone in Islam, and I'm, I don't believe that that is really, I, I think that that's more religious than, than true faith, than um, true spirituality. I think it's more customary. I say this to say because I don't need for you to like judge me. Like Your support will be awesome. You know what I mean? I w I'm grateful for any support that I get. I'm grateful for any um, somebody, anybody who appreciates the things that I have to say. But it's not a prerequisite. Like, regardless if you believe me or not, regardless if you support me or not, regardless of your feelings about me, I'm going to still wake up every morning and thank my creator for the life that he's given me and be extraordinarily grateful for this beautiful life that I've been given. Regardless. You know, so your opinion is 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 cool, 
like you're entitled to have one, but it's not gonna really stop me from the things that I need to do. And when it comes to um, our salvation, this is a very personal thing. It's a very personal, personal thing as far as if our creator chooses to save us or not, that's personal. And I don't compare myself with anybody at all because I know that the life that my creator has in store for me is the life that I will have, period. And there's nothing that can stop it. There's no one that can get in the way of that. What is for me is for me and what is not meant for me will pass me by. And so when I hear people you know, try to uh, dissect me or analyze me and things of that nature, I ask, well, you know, how does that contribute to your salvation or lack thereof? And if you want to compare, are we are we really going to compare transgressions? You know, some of these people that have so much to say about you, what you wear and things of that nature, you know, if, if you don't help me, you don't hurt me. And, and this isn't coming from a sense of entitlement, but I'm just, you know, the woman that I've become, I'm, I'm curious how you contributed to that. And so I've, I've always said, you know, you can leave your feedback in the same place that you leave your help. Why am I posting on IG? Why do I post a couple of videos on IG? You know, and I've been, I've been posting more often as of lately. You don't have to believe anything I, I'm saying. You don't have to follow me or anything like that. I'm just giving pure love, pure advice. If you choose to take my advice, that would be to your benefit. That's really what I'm here to do. I'm here to help. Now, when it comes to, you know, transgressions, I, I will say, even during my darkest days, even during the, the worst times, my darkest days, for a lot of you, <laughs> that looks like the best, the best days for some of you, if we really want to go there. But we let our creator be the judge of us. I've said this before, I like... I, I love Malcolm X for a specific reason. I like the fact that he had some dirt under his nails. How can you do the work and help people if you are coming from a perspective where you've never ever gotten your hands dirty? So, you know, for anybody that has anything to say about me or, um, you know, my sincerity or my faith or, um, you know, if I do this, if I do that, I just really want to ask you, you know, are you, like, just like you want to air people's dirty laundry, are you prepared to have your dirty laundry aired? Your worst transgressions, are you prepared for that to be out there? And what makes you think that you are the interceptor of someone's faith or fate? What makes you think that you have leverage, spiritual leverage to say, yes, this one is and this one isn't? Isn't that a transgression within itself? Until next time, guys. Peace.